Hi guys and welcome back to part two of the coffee roasting series. So if you haven't already go check out part one, we'll have that linked. Talk a little bit about the bags first and then the labels. I think the very first thing you want to decide on before buying a bag is how much coffee you're going to be sending out. Whether it's 200 grams, 220, 250, 500 or a kilo, that will kind of point you in the, in the general direction. I'm gonna go with these bags. These are the Eco Barista bags. I feel like they look really good with the coffee in it. It looks really full. Um, there's exactly 250 grams in here. It's, you know, nice compact design for shipping as well. Whereas these ones, they are a little bit larger and bulkier. Now, when you're making the design for your labels, I think one thing that's really important to consider is the information that you want on the label. For this project and for me, I know that a lot of my um, sales are gonna come from online. So people are gonna be purchasing this through my website where I can have other information on this coffee. So I've taken a more simpler approach. Do what you feel is uh, going to meet the needs of your customers. So what I've included on my labels is the amount of coffee in the bag, roasted coffee beans, what it actually is. That's very important. Sometimes people don't display that and then it's like, oh wait, I'm gonna buy 250 grams of basic barista. We've got the country, Ethiopia yoga chef, washed, gadebo, the tasting notes. Very simple. After you've got this going, you need to consider who's gonna be printing this. So you can go through a company like Vistaprint where it's a little bit more uh, larger scale and uh, if you make a mistake, it kind of falls back on you in a way. Um, you know, you might not, if you don't have design experience and you um, maybe stuff something up like a bleed line or where they're supposed to cut it, um, that does fall on you. So you've got, you carry the risk with that. Depending on the company and their requirements, you might need to either shift your design or use a different material. It's kind of a transition between your layout, how you envision it to look on the packaging, and then depending on the actual printer um, and their specifications, you kind of balance it all out to um, become cost effective, uh, still look good, and, and meet all of your needs or three. I hope you found this to be useful or insightful. Um, yeah, this is so much fun. I love doing this stuff. I love making these videos. I've, um, I'm really enjoying making this vlogging style uh, video. If you've got any questions about designing or packaging for coffee, um, we're kind of just going through it now. I'm definitely not an expert. We're kind of learning things as we go which is fun, it's, you know, it's it's different. But yeah, in the next video, we are going to be taking our coffee to Harry. Um, we're going to roast it and we are going to kind of walk through uh, what's involved in profiling coffee. That's sort of the vibe for the next video. Um, so stay tuned um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.